What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. I'm going to post this video on both of my channels. Um, the uh, review and how-to channel and my uh, Uberman YouTube channel as well. Um, as most of you know, uh, over the course of the last three years, I have uh, really taken a liking to Hyundai slash Kia. Um, they really make some great cars and they're an amazing value. Uh, you really can't beat the amount of car you get for the money. And I know that uh, for a lot of people, um, this would not be your brand of choice. Um, quite honestly, I'm a big fan of Mercedes and BMW as well. I've always been a Chevrolet guy. Just ignore the Ford truck in the background. <laughs> I've never been a uh, Ford enthusiast at all. <laughs> but, um, you know, I've had several... Hyundai's and Kia's. Uh, my very first one was a uh, 2010 Kia Forte sedan. Next came a 2011 Kia Forte Coupe. Then came a 2013 Kia Optima Turbo. Then came a 2013 Hyundai Elantra. Then came a 2016 Hyundai Elantra. And now a 2017 Hyundai Elantra. So this is the new body style. Um, this is the completely redesigned Elantra for 2017. It's a tad bit wider. It's a tad bit longer. Uh, body styling has uh, changed, although in my opinion, it's still very recognizable as an Elantra. It got a little bit of a facelift. Um, it got a much more angular look versus the older generation's uh, curved body style. Uh, I think it's got a really nice look to it. Um, I do like the angles. I like the facelift. But uh, overall, to me, it is still very recognizable as an Elantra, particularly from basically if you cut it off at the headlights right there, back. To me, it still looks very much like an Elantra. And in my opinion, that's a good thing. I think that the curved body style was starting to show its age, so they changed it up a little bit. Uh, when you come around to the back, you definitely cannot mistake that uh, Hyundai Elantra styling. Now, this car is brand new. Um, I think it had nine miles on the odometer. This has the uh, proximity sensor, see? This thing is pretty well loaded. Uh, granted, it does not have the leather interior. We'll uh, take a look at the uh, interior here. And push to start. We've got the touch screen, and as you can see, it's got a Bluetooth connectivity. It's linked to my phone. You can uh, run diagnostics from your phone. Guys, you can lock it, unlock it from your phone. Um, I think it's called Hyundai Link or Blue Link. Um, this car has everything. Uh, dual zone digital climate control. Uh, heated seats. I know it's a little bright right here, but there we go. We've got uh, both heated front seats. We've got multiple drive modes for economy, sport, and then that would be normal. You've got a slew of options here, guys. Um, you've got a ton of settings that you can change. This thing, this thing is just absolutely loaded. Um, aside from things like a sunroof and a leather interior. Uh, other than that, it's got pretty much everything else. I love this car. As you can see, the odometer shows 23 miles. And uh, I'm getting ready to take it on a road trip. Um, first thing I'm going to do with this car is take it down to Dallas to pick Jessica up from a DFW. Uh, in my opinion, it they did change the, uh, the dashboard. The steering wheels changed a little bit um, for my generation. Um, 
but overall it still very much looks like an Elantra to me. I love the car. I've absolutely fallen in love with the Elantras. Um, pop the hood and pop the trunk. The uh, floor mats, first aid kit, there's a spare tire under there which is optional. Um, they tend to try to give you these cars with just a uh, air pump, but they will not charge you anything to include the full size spare tire and jack and accessories in place of the uh, air pump and a tire inflator kit is what it is. Um, it's got an air pump and it's got a, uh, a bottle of uh, like stop leak, high tech stop leak or something like that. Uh, the engine does sound a little noisy with the hood open, but truthfully, when you are uh, on the road, uh, this thing is very quiet, very, very quiet. We've got the projector headlights, we've got the LED fog lights, and I've got everything set to uh, automatic, but we can go ahead and turn that all on manually. And the LED lights are going to have this uh, scrolling effect, so you won't actually be able to see them on. Um, it's just, uh, just the way LEDs are. I think it actually looks cool like that. Kind of looks like Knight Rider. <laughs> if anybody's old enough to remember that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to do a quick review of this car. Guys, when it comes to uh, Hyundai and Kia, you know, the price for this car with the added accessories, which um, are factory installed options, were the weather, weather guard floor mats, um, tinted windows, there's a bumper oblique back here. You can't see it because the car is such a bright, bright, uh, shimmering silver. It's a metallic. Um, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's a, a few factory installed options. Um, total price of the car uh, at the dealer is right around twenty-five thousand. Now I got it for less than that. Um, I'm never going to pay. Uh, a dealer's asking price and she is a little dirty we've had some uh, we've had some storms here lately it's that time of year here in Oklahoma um, another thing that I think is really cool about it and I know it's probably difficult to see but it has a uh, besides the proximity sensor um, back here it's illuminated on both sides so when you walk n near the car um, it will actually light up the entire door handle for you. That's that's a pretty cool feature, but it's got this, uh, I guess it's like a driver warning um, as you're backing up or if you're going to change lanes. Um, it will detect if there's another car um, basically within a certain radius of your car around you, and it will warn you so that if perhaps a car is in your blind spot, you know, it gives you the option to uh, maybe take a second look and there will be an arrow on the dash that will warn you if it's that direction or if it's that direction so you know which way to look for. Um, got all this crap that I had to peel off the windows and it leaves sticky residue up there that you gotta get off, but here's the, uh, here's the original paperwork on it. Let's see if we can brighten this up just a hair. Guess not. So, they're claiming 28 city, 37 highway, which is a, it's pretty standard. Um, it's been my experience with these cars that on uh, long highway trips, I've easily climbed into the 40s. Um, I'm not going to claim any high 40s, but I've definitely uh, routinely gotten 43 miles a gallon on uh, road trips. Here, uh, 
here's the installed options here. Uh, 25155 is the uh, total price, which, you know, if you know how to talk to them, you'll never end up paying full price for a car like this. So there she is, guys, and I know this is a long review video, um, but uh, I will come back with some real numbers as I'm on my road trip to DFW, and, uh, you know, we'll see what kind of average miles per gallon this thing really pulls on a road trip. All right, guys, we're back with the uh, 2017 Elantra, and we started with something like 28 miles on the odometer. Took a little road trip to uh, Dallas and back and a little bit of city driving. And here's the thing, guys. Let me turn this radio off. Um, as you can see, we now have almost 500 miles on the odometer, 483 miles. We started with uh, 28, I believe. We still have approximately 54 miles to go before we run out of gas. I have not put gas in it um, since I left to go to Dallas. And as you can see, I still have about an eighth of a tank left. Uh, average miles per gallon, 41 even. That's with about 90% highway and approximately 10% uh, city. A little bit of idling uh, while I was waiting at the airport and uh, uh, went to the lake and it was idling for quite a while at the lake too. So with, uh, with some pretty good idle time and a little bit of city driving and a whole bunch of highway driving, guys, um, on the actual highway to Dallas and back, I was averaging 44 miles a gallon. So uh, I just want to end the video with that. This thing is awesome. Um, it's got uh, this feature called Android One, I believe is what it's called. Android Auto is what it's called. That thing is amazing. You get your uh, GPS and everything on the screen, and it comes through the Bluetooth. It's absolutely amazing. Fantastic car, guys. 10-year, uh, 100,000-mile warranty. These things are phenomenal, and I swear by them. So, uh, you know, that's the end of the video, guys. Mainly, I just wanted to do that uh, fuel economy uh, review for you guys. So if you're considering getting one, you can get some real-world numbers in there, uh, what you can expect. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, be safe out there, and Uber on.